good morning beautiful people it's kind of a gloomy morning like it's rainy well it's misting it's cold everything's wet but I just fed the girls and um, they're kind of excited and I love it they have three different options today they have their feed they have some scratch and they have ch uh, kitchen scraps from last night. I'll go ahead and show y'all. Okay. So I cut up some butternut squash and some tomatoes last night. And uh, there's also some onion in there, I think. But, like, not very much. But then their soaked feed and their scratch. the girls some fresh hay. Good morning, y'all. Esther's bassinet was making a lot of music and it was kind of annoying me. Anyway. Um, so, you saw a little bit of a really terribly lighted shot of me putting new hay in the coop for the girls today. Um, it's gonna be really cold and wet and gross um, and I think we're supposed to get snow on Sunday and I am dreading it like crazy um, yeah I'm just like literally dreading Sunday I hate snow I love it, but I hate going anywhere in it. So maybe, now that I'm a stay-at-home mom, I'll like it more. Instead of having to go to work all the time. But anyway. Um, we, like I said, are supposed to get snow. And I wanted the girls to have some new fresh bedding to lay on. Plus it was about time to lay some new hay down. Um, still not getting any eggs. It'll be fine. I'm fine. I'm not bitter about it at all. I'm hoping... I'm really hoping that we at least get a few eggs before next spring. Like, do chickens really go all winter without laying eggs? Like, is that a thing? What do you want, Sammy? I'm trying to make a video here. Sammy's the cat, in case you couldn't tell. I don't know if you could hear her meowing or not, but she was meowing very loudly. Do you like my mug? Anyway, I love spooky time. I hate the cold. Moral of the story. I think that's good for, good for this video. Um, oh, no, it's not good for this video. I want to tell y'all about something. I don't know how many of you um, know who Joel Salatin is, but he's a permaculture farmer, um, big scale, like, profits from his farm. Um, I'm just now starting to follow him. Anyway, I follow, or I subscribe to Justin Rhodes and uh, Jason, uh, Jason from Circle Land and... 
um, you know, all those people over there in North Carolina that I really enjoy watching. Anyway, um, they are, Justin Rhodes is selling Joel Salatin's brand new book, um, Polyface Designs. Until Sunday, it is discounted, and you may or may not get a signed copy. Um, so I'm going to leave the link in the description below. If you want that book, it's like, it's so amazing. Like, it has, Polyface Designs is, um, it's all about how Joel built his infrastructure and how he moves it and, um, literally, like, step by step how to build a chicken coop, a pig pen, a cow, a cattle run, a, um, ramp to load your pigs onto the trailer, like, step-by-step -step instructions on all of these things. So amazing. I'm leaving a link in the description below for the book. I ordered mine already. The, sh the shipping label was printed Tuesday, and it's Friday, so I'm really hoping I get my book sometime next week. Like, hoping. <laughs> I want it so bad. Anyway, just thought I'd leave you off there. Thank y'all for watching. I will see you next time.